there are places in the Bible where you have two or three sides. One side says yes, one side says no, and maybe a third says, well, I don't know. You take the gap theory. I believe in the gap theory, and I, I, I give the scripture. I know people who don't believe in the gap theory, and they give the scripture. And yet, whether you believe the gap theory, whether you don't believe in a the gap theory, when we get to the judgment seat of Christ, we'll know. But it's not a doctrine that's going to send you to hell. You're not, you should not, if you're out witnessing. Jesus said, preach the gospel. He didn't say go out and preach the, the gap theory. He didn't, he didn't say go out and preach the book of Revelation. He said, preach the gospel. Now the gospel is fine, declared through the scriptures, multiple places, that Jesus Christ suffered and died and was buried and rose again the third day according to scripture. There are things in a Bible, scripturally sound, and if you believe otherwise, you're wrong. I have never had a Jehovah Witness debate me. They have all said that Jesus is not God. Scripture, scripture, Scripture says he is God. You're wrong. The Bible's correct. Not me. The Bible. So what we're going to look at today is another thing that people will say that Paul, when he talks about this angel, some people say it's Jesus Christ. Some people will say it's not Jesus. I'm going to show you the scripture where it is Jesus Christ. You could be right or wrong. But, if the scripture says, and what the scripture says, whether it be yea or nay, whether it be blue or be black, whatever the scripture says, that is so. And you can throw the opinions out, you can throw the scholarship out, but let's look at what we have here in Acts 27, 23. Now this is the shipwreck. He says, For there stood by me, Paul speaking, this night, the angel of God. Now in the Old Testament, when you read the angel of the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, it is agreed by many that angel of the Lord is Jesus Christ before he was born. That angel of the Lord shows up first time in the Bible to Hagar. Now we have the angel of God. Is there anything different from God in capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D? You don't need to go into Hebrew and the Greek. It's still Jehovah. There are places in the Bible that says, Lord God. I'll show you. I'll do so it's together. There are 532 places in the Bible that says, Lord God. So he can be both Lord and God. The angel of the Lord, the angel of God. I don't think we have a problem there, but we do. Well, Who's I am. Now you ought to recognize that right away that I am. Because this goes you all the way back to the burning bush and Moses and Jehovah God. Moses has God. He says, God, you know, the people are not going to believe me. Okay, they're going to ask me a question, God. What's that? What's your name? And God tells Moses, my name is I am that I am. Now, when you read the Gospel of John, Jesus said, I am the bread of life. I am the water. I am, I am, 
I am. And there's one point where he says, I am, and the Jews pick up stones to stone him because the Jews have recognized who and what Jesus says he is, God. Even though the Jehovah Witnesses don't believe that. So we got the angel of God, in the Old Testament we got the angel of the Lord, whose I am, and whom I serve. Now come on, we all know the character of Paul. By Acts 27, Paul is well aged in the Lord. Do you really think that, that Paul would worship and serve an angel? Do you think Paul would serve angels? Now, so when we get the angel of God, I didn't do this before, but let's do it now. Let's search it. There are six places the angel of God shows up. The angel of God called out to Hagar. The angel of God spake on him a dream, Jacob. The angel of God which went before the camp of Israel. The angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh and the unleavened cake. The angel of God came again to the woman and she sat in the field. And then this stood me this night, the angel of God. But let's look at Hagar. And it says, The angel of God called out of Hagar of heaven. For God has heard the voice of the lad. And God opened up her eyes. So that angel of God they're saying is that is God. Talk about the angel of God with Abraham, uh, excuse me, with, with Jacob. The angel of God spake him in a dream. He lift up now eyes to see the rams which cattle. I am the God of Bethel. That's the angel of God speaking to Jacob. I am the God of Bethel. That angel of God is God. Scripture with Scripture. The angel of God which went before the camp removed and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud went from before their faces and stood behind. That pillar of fire, that pillar of the cloud... That, that driven Israel, the Bible says it was God. Now, there's a place here about it. And it came to pass that the morning watch, the Lord looked unto the hosts of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of the cloud. So the Lord, capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, is in that pillar of the angel of God. We have Gideon. Now watch this. The angel of God said unto him, Take the flesh and unlimited case, lay them upon this rock, and pour out the broth as he did. Then the angel of the Lord. Well, we say that the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament is Jesus Christ. Well, we see the angel of God and the angel of the Lord in Judges 6.20 and 6.21 the same. Okay? Let's go back to Acts 27. I think right now we can stop, but we're not going to. We're going to go with more scripture. Acts 27, 23. We're still meeting this night. The angel of God, which Judges tells us, is the angel of the Lord. Whose I am, Exodus tells us that's God. 
whom I serve, I don't think God, I don't think, excuse me, Paul would serve an angel. Saying, fear not. That's the words of Jesus. All right, then Paul goes on to say, Sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God. Who was speaking to him? In 23, the angel of God told Paul that they're going to come out of this storm, and Paul says, This is the I am whom I serve. I believe God. Judges, we just saw, the angel of God is the angel of the Lord. Okay. One last place, and we're done. This one's a short one today. Galatians, chapter 4, verse 14. This will settle it. This will settle it. And after this, you cannot say, or you should not say, Well, that angel's not God. Galatians 4.14 In my temptation, which was in my flesh, he despised not, nor rejected, but received me as, as an angel of God, as the angel of God, even as Christ Jesus. So Acts itself says, I believe God, I am whom I serve. Now if you're going to say that Paul served angels, of course if you belong to a, a new age religion, you might say that. You can run to Gideon in Acts chapter 6, and, and I mean, excuse me, Judges chapter 6, and see the angel of the Lord, and then see the, the and see the angel of God and the angel of the Lord. And you can go to Acts 27. He tells us right out. It's God. And in Galatians 4.14, he tells us Jesus Christ. So, angel of God... Six places. The angel of God, the angel, the angel, the angel, the angel, the angel. Well, it says, Paul says, an angel. Still the angel of God. The angel of God that Paul speaks about that visited him in Acts 27 on that ship that was in the storm is scripture with scripture. King James 1611 Bible is the Lord Jesus Christ. 